We've lost the last two semi-finals in a row, so the real aim today was just get over the line. So we're delighted with that. Today was, uh, we knew what we were up against, um, but uh, as you can see with, with these Towns Cup games, they uh, all the way to the full 80 minutes, so it was a, it was a good old day for it, but um, hopefully, um, hopefully it's something that we can lead into for the final. We've plenty more to do now, we know what kind of side they are, they've beaten us the last two times we've played them, and we know... You know, when the weather gets like this, they're very, very good at ball in hand, so we've plenty to do now. In <laughs> Scotty's a different kettle of fish. I mean, um, they've shown the way how um, junior rugby is supposed to be played. Um, they've been uh, the leading contenders for the last uh, four or five seasons. So um, we've got our work cut out for us. Um, I think for us it's just our basics. Um, and we're always looking to improve that one more um, edge that we have uh, coming into Scotty. Um, but, you know, battle of the southeast, so it'll be, it'll be a good one. But look, we've had our best league season we've had in a, in a long, long time, so the Cup would be the icing on the cake, and you know, especially considering we've only got one Towns Cup in our history, which was a couple of years ago, so it'd be nice to add a second one. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have actually expected it, but it'll be a bonus uh, to actually be in the final, um, let alone what it means to the community itself. Um, obviously, um, Wicklow won it uh, a couple of years back, and they want to sort of uh, simulate the same sort of uh, celebrations. But, um, you know, go through the processes, uh, make sure that we do all the things right, tick all the boxes, and um, hopefully we can come out on top for a second time.